So back in the late 99s, early to mid 2000s, I discovered underground hip hop. Um, as opposed to the more mainstream hip hop that was out at the time. As part of that, there were specific artists that I discovered both on Raucous Records and then later on Definitive Jux, which was a record label that a guy called Jamie O'Lean, also known as LP, created. And he brought along a lot of different label mates like Aesop Rock, Cannibal Ox, to name but a few. And during this time, it was a very specific genre of music, but it was something I was really into. And in 2010, um, unfortunately, LP decided to cease work on Definitive Jokes, despite releasing several albums. We weren't sure what the direction was. He decided to go on a more independent route for a couple of years, and then in 2013 he met up with Killer Mike, who was another um, hip-hop artist. And in 2014 they decided to form a group called Run The Jewels. Now, Run The Jewels has been very successful commercially. Obviously, it caught the eye of Nike SB, because in 2023 they actually released their own collaboration with Run The Jewels. This dropped earlier this year, and it was a sneaker that I really wanted, but that resale price I was just not feeling. Now, fortunately, resale prices have dropped, so I actually managed to recently cop this sneaker for resale for a pretty good price. And when that, this sneaker, for me, is fire. The quality and the detailing is beautiful. That means a deaf jockey, and now I'm more a dual runner. This, for me, is a, this for me is a must cop, and I'm really happy to find it in the collection. So let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Luke's here back from another video. And today I'm checking out the Nike SB Dunk Low collaboration with Run The Jewels. Thanks for checking that video. If you're new to the channel and you have all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And feel free to drop a comment in the section down below. Now today I'm checking out a sneaker that, for me, when I first saw it, I was like, this is a must cop. And when I took my L's for retail and also at skate shops, I was like, I still need this sneaker. But the retail price was quite high at the time, so I basically waited. And I bided my time, and a couple of months ago I put my bid on eBay and copped the sneaker. And I'm finally happy to have this sneaker in my collection after several months. And that is the Nike SB Dunk Low collaboration with Run The Jewels. So this sneaker originally drops on Killer Mike's birthday, April 20th, for a retail price of £115 here in the UK, or $130 out in the US. As expected, it was a hyped collaboration, and it did sell out. I took my L's originally on the sneakers app, and also from Skate Shop Raffles. The sneaker also dropped in a high, which was in a kind of pink and black colour blocking, but because of the kind of furry elements, it wasn't a sneaker that I was really interested in, so for me, the Dunk Low was the must cop. The reason for that was, not only did I like the colour blocking and just the quality of the sneaker, but I also obviously like the backstory. As I've mentioned, I've been a fan of LP, Definitive Jerks, Run The Jewels for many, many years now. So for me, this was a must, this was, this was a no-brainer, this was a must cop. Just to kind of obviously support the brand and support the collaboration. When I took my L, I said, you know what, I have to cop this, but the resale price was too high for my liking. But fortunately, the price started to drop and around October time frame, I started to bid on, started to do some bidding on eBay, and eventually I got a bid accepted. I paid around two hundred pounds. Now, in hindsight, that's a good price because the, the retail price has recently gone up again. The reason why the video doesn't be filmed now is because it took a while for the sneaker to get to me. There was some mix up with the authentication, so I had to wait a little while. But really happy to finally have the sneaker in the collection. So let's check out the sneaker. So for those who don't know. Run The Jewels is a hip hop group made up of LP and Killer Mike. And LP is, a, I'd say, a veteran now in the hip hop industry. He's been around in the early 90s since he first formed a group with Mr. Len and Big Just called Company Flow. And then several years later, he then created his own record label called Definitive Jux. It was like a niche brand within the hip hop culture. Because it was a niche within that culture, it wasn't as commercially successful as it could have been. Because obviously, the idea was it's underground, so it's not going to hit appeal to the mainstream. But for me, I really like the messaging, the production, the music quality. It was definitely something that I was listening to a lot. Definitely something that I'm really happy to uh, to have experienced. Fast forward to 2007, and I actually managed to see LP twice in concert, both in a small club in London called Dingwalls, and also in Barcelona at a music festival called BAM. And for me, the culmination of obviously 
listening to the music and obviously seeing the videos and whatnot, but actually seeing it in person was a much was a crazy experience and something I'll never forget. Unfortunately, I don't have footage from those concerts, which is kind of weird because I was shooting music content back then. If you look in my channel, go way back to the beginning, that's when I first kind of started my channel, uh, was with music content. 2010, LP decides to shutter Definitive Jerks and go in a different direction. And there's a couple of years where he puts out some music. Again, it's kind of his own independent stuff. Fast forward to 2013 and he meets Killer Mike they start forming a group, and that group is then known as Splendor Jewels. Now, Killer Mike is a—he's an MC from Atlanta, and he's been in the game as well for quite some time. It was for me, it was not someone I'd heard of up until they formed Splendor Jewels. 2014, Splendor Jewels dropped their first album, and it's—you know—it gets a lot of critical acclaim, some good success, and so you know they continue to to release music. The inspiration for this sneaker is the cover art from their third album. I think that's really inspiring and quite fire, to be quite honest. The inspiration for the Dunk High is from their fourth album. So I think how they've brought that together complete kind of um, helps to tell that story. Um, so I think it's really fire. And obviously because Run The Jewels is becoming commercially successful, it must have caught the eye of Nike SB. So then Run The Jewels start obviously working with Nike SB and then they start teasing the sneaker uh, in 20, at the end of 2022. So. When I saw that, when I first saw the shots of that, I was like, this is a sneaker that looks fire and needs to have in the collection. Unfortunately, as I said, on drop day, I took my L's and then bit the bullet, paid the resale price several months later. But really had to add this unique sneaker to the collection. So let's check out the details. So because this is a collaboration with some hype, you do get the new Nike SB box for those collaborations. This used to be the rainbow box um, prior to 2023. On top, you've got the cream, you've got the cream box and you've got Nike the swoosh and SB in gray writing. You've also got Nike SB logos right here. So side area is Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS and the colorway is deep royal blue, royal active pink. That's my two size at UK, 13 US 14. So pop lid. So I've got some eBay, so a little eBay card. So you have standard tissue paper, um, the kind of the kind of tree situation that you've got going on there. Feel that back. And here you have a sneaker. So that's the Nike SB Dunk little collaboration around the jewels. So here we have a sneaker. As you can see, it's, a, it's, it's quite polarizing, obviously that blue and pink, but I think it's pretty nice and uh, definitely a nice addition to the collection. First thing you see is starting on the outsole. So you've got translucent outsole in blue, as you can see, you've got your pattern here, obviously you've got your pressure points right here. And as you can see, it's got run the jewels in the band's text, so it's quite cool. And then you've got Nike SB in the middle, and that's obviously embossed in that kind of darker blue colour. Turn to the side, you've still got that translucent midsole, as you can see. So again, it's quite a fire detail. And then that's obviously uh, going all the way around. As we come on to the upper, so you've got, so you've got colour blocking of this dark blue right here and then you've got this kind of lighter blue at the back here obviously around the ankle area you've got that kind of light blue at the top right here so i think it's quite a nice contrast between the three different shades of blue and this is all in suede so it feels really nice to the touch really premium so definitely a nice a nice detail and uh so what you see with quite a lot of sbs is that suede is going to be you know good quality so it comes to toe box so you've got your standard perforated holes you can see right here and again that suede is butter smooth I think it's really nice. And as we go out the upper, you've got one overlay here. So it's got the two for first two eyelets in that kind of darker blue color. The rest of the eyelets going up with this light blue lace, which matches the tongue. The tongue itself is leather, but it's padded. So obviously you've got that thick padding that you get with SBs. And then at the top of the tongue, you've got the Nike SB logo and the Dunk Low Pro text right there in, in gold writing. So you've got quite a nice touch. And then on the back of the tongue, you've got that fine padding, so again, to give you that breathability. And as I said, the lever is quite stiff, but it's definitely, it's that more premium materials uh, that you have for the sneaker. The laces themselves, they're quite thin in this example, um, but they have this kind of line grooves on each of them, as you can see right there. So it's interesting detail. You do get two additional sets of laces. So you get this kind of darker blue right here, which matches this, uh, 
overlay right here. And then you've got the, the much sort of royal lace colour right here, which obviously matches the side panelling, as you can see right there. The only thing on this, the default lace is you get those little navy tips, as you can see right there. So, quite interesting. Sock liner itself is a light blue, similar to what you see on the tongue. And again, it's got that suede feel inside, so again, that's very premium. A uh, standard feature on SBs is the padding at the back, as you can see right there. So again, that's quite a fire detail. So again, it gives you that comfort and traction, because obviously this is a primary skateboarding shoe, but you know, you, you still can wear it to run, you know, you can still wear it out as a lifestyle sneaker, and that's what my plan would be. So we've got on the side, the other contrasting detail is the swoosh. So it's in pink, so active pink. And that goes all the way down again, it's suede. So again, it feels very premium. It goes all the way down to the back, as you can see right here. And the back of the sneaker, you've then got this other detail, which is the Nike text in a gold. Um, so that's embossed as well. Again, that's quite a fire detail. Last bit of the sneaker is the insole. And you can see you've got the Run The Jewels logo right there, as you can see. That's a look at the right sneaker. Take a quick look at the left. So left sneakers is exactly the same. Obviously you've got the eBay tag right here because it's still dead stock. Uh, so I haven't taken off yet. The only difference on here is on the insole. So you've got the other side of the Run Jewels logo. So if you have both of them, you've got the hands and you've got the other hands on that side as you can see. So again, very subtle, very subtle details, but really happy with that. So in terms of sizing, I went through the size and that's all what I do with all SBs and that fits fine. It does have quite a wide toolbox, as you can see. So if you do have a narrow foot, you may want to go down half a size. But for me, true to size works fine. In terms of resale, as I said, I was quite lucky. I only paid 200 pounds for these uh, on eBay. Whereas the last sale on StockX is about 261. So you've got that kind of StockX premium that you might, that you'd be paying. So there are definitely people selling pairs on eBay. So I would encourage you to go to eBay but you also obviously can go to StockX Go or another reselling platform of your choice. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you cop this when it originally dropped or did you pass? Let me know if you did cop this for resale. Really interested to get that feedback. For me, it's a sneaker that was a must cop. And yeah, it took a few months before I added it to the collection considering it dropped in April, but it's still one of my best cops of 2023 and really have to have in the collection. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So thanks for checking the video. If you did enjoy this content, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. We're well on the way to 500 subscribers. I can't wait for you to join me on this journey. And if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. And I'll see you in the next video.